Hey, Gina. I um. I'm shaking. I don't want followers. I want to communicate with people. But I'm not going to change who I am. Ever. That's not true. It's not true. That's what I used to say. I'm not going to take it personally, but I'm going to listen to you. I knew, I noticed when you came into the room and that you were on text, and I had the thought that how shitty that she can't be on video, but text is dead. Text is uninteresting. I have no interest in it. I'm not going to lie about it and pretend. I mean, it's, it was cool when that was what we had, like when email was new, it was amazing, but now... I, I can't even stand it. I just, I don't even go to MySpace anymore because it's like it's typing takes so long and reading takes so long when you can just whip out a thought out of your mouth. And I can see why you were pissed off about not being able to talk in the room because there's only, what, seven people can talk at once. But again, it's not about you, it's about me. Not that it's not about you, it's about both of us. And I'm sorry that you did the situation happen like it did, that you felt neglected. Um, I really am sorry that that happened. I guess it was unavoidable and, and there's, there's no reason for anyone to get upset about it because that was just one moment and that moment is gone and now there are new moments and we can make these moments whatever we want them to be and honestly if you wanted to start a, a stick em page and communicate with people you could I'll never be satisfied being a follower I'm not I am um, I mean I What's the point of even making this video? I just I want to talk to you. I'd rather talk to you and uh, ask you what you. I guess I'll just make the video anyway. What do you? What are you disappointed in exactly? Because I haven't done anything differently. Maybe that's what you're disappointed in is that I haven't done anything differently. I started blogging three months ago, and I'm just still blogging. Although, I had a meeting with the manager a couple days ago. Big time manager in LA. And that was pretty cool. Because that's like a step on the road. Sometimes I think of this time as like a time of gathering people together. then it's like the people that are that are here, the people that are also interested in this already, the people that I already know, they're not satisfied sitting around waiting. But then at the same time, it's not up to me to decide what you do and how active you get. I didn't come on here saying, I'm going to make your life better. That's up to you, unfortunately.
And it's not unfortunate. No one has the power to make me feel better. Only me. Only me. And it goes the same for everybody else, I think. I've been thinking about taking action for about two months, three months. I can't stop thinking about it every night, every day. I can't stop. But I am scared as hell. Because I have never done anything like this before. And I wish that I could pause time and, and keep talking to different people so I could have a conversation with everybody every day. I wish that everybody lived here. And that would be a lot easier. But wow, this is different. This is so different than my life before this. And I got Amanda on one side saying, just take it easy. Just balance. Get on maybe an hour a day. Don't make it a big bulk of your time. She's talking about YouTube and the internet. Just take it easy because she wants it, me to be here with her. I got all my friends telling me, take it easy, take it easy, because they want me there with them. And then I end up spreading it out so thin that I'm not really spending any quality. That's not true, but I'm not really spending a lot of time with anyone. And that's why I'm going crazy. That's why I can't do this alone. And that's why I'm not a leader. I mean, a, a real leader isn't a leader. A real leader doesn't stand in front of a crowd and do the talking. A real leader is someone that inspires people to be leaders. Inspires someone to inspire other people. And if I'm gone, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. I don't want people fucking staring at me. I want people talking to me. I want friends. I want to I just, it to be, I mean, it is, it is. It's whatever I want it to be. It's what, when I was in Stickham, I, I, I saw like, I realized a lot of the time it would be, I, I'd be talking with someone and then I would stop talking and it would just be silence. And I would think, is it silence because people are waiting for me to speak? That's what I thought it was, and then I thought, I'm not going to... do it. I'm not going to speak just to appease people. But then I, I thought, I, I can't even assume. So I just... just listen. Thanks for making this video. Don't don't ever feel afraid to openly criticize me or tell me exactly what you think, and I won't ever be afraid to do the same to you. I don't ever ever. I'm I'm no more or less than anyone else, and neither are you. We're all the same. I'll see you later.